Laos, officially the Lao People's Democratic Republic, is a landlocked country in Southeast Asia. Its population of 6.5 million people depend on subsistence agriculture, which accounts for 50% of the country's GDP and provides 80% of employment. Approximately 80% of arable land is used for rice growing. In the remote villages, infrastructure is sadly lacking, although progress is being achieved slowly. These villages are isolated from other villages. Each must produce its own food. Village lifestyles offer only the very basics. The kids make their own fun, despite the ever-present danger of unexploded ordnance and the scars of recent wars. Even though remote village life has its difficulties, there is a great feeling of optimism here. The labour-intensive silk production project introduced by the Lao Sericulture Company is bringing much-needed employment and income to these remote villages. This fair trade certified enterprise trades under the brand name of Mulberries and is the brainchild of Mrs. Conley Chantevong. Welcome to visit my house. It is my first house. When I come to set up the farm, I stay here one year. I bring the people, the poor people, came here and learn uh, tra training for, I can training them, and after they can uh, make by themselves in the village. We make uh, we eat like this, and uh, we make jam, we make uh, juice, we make wine, and we we um, use it for na make natural dye. The silk production cycle begins and ends with the cultivation of mulberry trees. These saplings will produce food for eating and juicing, leaves for dye, and bark for tea. The leaves are also used as an organic fertiliser, but most importantly, food for raising silkworms. During their short lifespan, less than a month, the caterpillar-like silkworms are fed mulberry leaves three times a day and continue the cycle by producing cocoons. Cocoon condominium. One cocoon, one trade. More than 100 cocoon. Transforming cocoons into silk is the next stage. Nothing is wasted in the process. The unreelable outer layer of the cocoon is saved for stuffing pillows and blankets. The Lao people enjoy the silkworm protein-rich pupae as a food supplement. Even the water used in the silk extraction process is saved. The women prize this as a skin moisturiser. Only organic dyes are used. Only one tree but can get 12 colours. <laughs> And after we die, we put the boy on the, the mat to keep the color, to fix color. Now, the newly dyed silk can be graded and spooled for the highly skilled weavers.
The history of Lao women's reeling and weaving of silk goes back thousands of years as mothers have been passing down these skills to their daughters. The ancient weavers designed their patterns after things they saw in daily lives. Other weavers' designs were only limited by their creativity and imagination. This woman's prize-winning design gives her great satisfaction. Airplane come to bomb our country. This design depicts the rain of bombs dropped on Laos in less happy times. The finished merchandise is of an amazingly high standard. Quality silk products, dyed by a natural and environmentally safe process, providing employment and income in a fair trade setting. In addition to mulberry silk, weaving and training enterprise, Comely is actively involved with the Pontong Handicraft Cooperative and Karma Crafts, which provides employment to more than 250 Hmong and Lao women by helping them create and sell handicrafts for local and foreign markets. For many of these women, producing handicrafts will be their only source of cash income. The production of handmade paper umbrellas is a craft that's been passed on from generation to generation in the far north provinces of Laos. If they put in the water is for night and take it to Boris with acid water to make a soap before prow. There are more than 34 families and 124 people involved with umbrella making in this village. It's very much a family business where everybody helps out, from the making of handmade paper to bamboo structuring and the painting of handles. All materials used to make umbrellas come from natural ingredients found locally in this village. The extended family is able to make approximately 170 umbrellas per month and usually sells them on the local market. After rice harvesting, umbrella production is the main source of income for this community. Village life here is now a hive of activity. Mulberry Silk Farming and Training Centre, together with Pontong Handicraft Cooperative and Karma Crafts, continue to make a positive impact on these communities. I think in my mind, if I finish the research and I can success it, I bring the people, the poor people, came here and learn uh, tra training for. I can training them, and after they can uh, make by themselves in the village.